Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today I'm very excited to finally present you the, the Sketcher Offset uh, tool, which is now almost completely working. There's just a few things to solve. And, um, and so it has been a, a lot of work because initially I actually started to, to create the, the engine, the algorithm that calculates like the position and of the offset uh, lines curves and it was actually very complex because you have tons of cases and you have to calculate like um, on which side it should go and where the mouse is depending on the curve and so well it was a lot of lot of code and maybe 2000 lines but then then some someone pointed to uh, pointed out that there is actually in the part in the part workbench there is an offset 2d tool which is actually like doing an offset of uh, of geometry. So if you of of sketch your geometries. Oh wait, wait, we didn't select the correct geometry, correct sketch here. Let's take this one. So you see, if you use that tool, you can actually create like offset geometries, like sketcher. It looks like sketcher geometries, and you can create offset. You can put it inside. You can put it put it outside and so on and it seems to be working very well so I, I was like whoa what is happening here so I had a look at that code and that function which I didn't knew and the first thing is about that function is that while it exists you can you cannot actually use that offset object inside um, inside part, part design or inside sketcher because like yeah this is just the original uh, sketch and you cannot like use this this uh, this object and it's not like sketch or object so it's not working properly however uh, what I seen in when I looked at the code of this function is that it actually there is actually an open cascade engine for calculating offsets which means that uh, the whole work that I've been doing creating a, uh, an offset engine was totally useless. So I, I scrapped it all and I started over using the open cascade engine. And so um, so it's been working very well. You can uh, uh, just select geometries, you select the tool and you see you have immediately the, the offset which is working very well. And even you see when the lines joins here in the inside, you get like the the correct result so it's working extremely well and uh, and and that's about it you can see that it's not lagging at all as you could have seen in my uh, scale and rotate videos and this is because um, because Abdullah released a, uh, a commit which enables uh, us to create uh, to draw uh, preview lines based on like a, a geometry vector. So you see here I can instead of creating geometries I can just draw the preview of them and so there's no lag because it's not actually creating uh, the, the sketcher geometries and, and solving and so on. So yeah that's about it. You can see if I drop the mouse somewhere you'll get the the correct geometries and one thing to note is that it's not like um, the, the the offset geometries are not linked to the original geometries which means that you can move it in, but obviously if you move it you lose the offset you you want but you can also modify it. So if you wanted to modify the offset here you can just easily uh, you can easily. Uh, oh, what is it doing? Oh, uh, it's behaving strangely. The polyline tool. It shouldn't like first make. Oh, it's because it was a circle, right? Oh, all right. Um, so yeah, you can modify the the offset pretty easily, and uh, and so that's uh, that's pretty nice. And so the, the, the draw and uh, this draw functionality has also been uh, implemented in uh, the other two um, other two functions. So in the scale, it's the same. You see, there's no lag anymore. It's just uh, it, it's as it's using this draw functionality. And even in the rotate functionality, let's see, take 
all that you create you want to create uh, copies of it uh, maybe you want like a lot of copies of that object and while it was like lagging uh, in in the previous uh, video I made you can see here let's say I want 100 copies of that of that geometry you see no problem at all it's handling it extremely well even if it's like a thousand geometries and um, well if you if you click uh, and try to create that you will probably it will probably lag a lot because when you add geometries and create um, create the constraints it's it needs a lot more CPU power so we can actually try because it's pretty much the end of that video so let's see what happens for one oh it's you see it actually worked it's not that bad it's like 1000 constraints and uh, 1000 geometries. I was pretty close to I was pretty close to the result. But then yes FreeCAD is uh, the sketcher is not handling like large groups of of geometries very well as you can see. It's uh, it's getting rather slow and if I try to delete that for instance yeah. <laughs> so right, it's working but well, there will be other issue with large numbers of geometries, but anyway, it's not like you all pro you you will want to create this kind of crazy geometries. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoy it, please consider backing me on uh, on Patreon. It will help me spend more time on uh, on those uh, on on FreeCAD. So thanks, and have a, a good day. Bye bye.